group hug. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to lockdown. <laughs> It's our birthdays coming up. Now, guys, very, very difficult to plan a birthday anyway, regardless of a global pandemic, but that's what I have to do as Rosie's partner. I'm sorry, wife. I hate the word partner. It's disgusting. So this is gonna be one of my favorite videos that I'm ever gonna upload to this vlogging channel. I'm gonna say that right now, and I say it with confidence. Phillips reached out to me very recently and said, would I like to feature their new Philips Hue outdoor lighting? I was like, yes, I take a lot of pride in my garden. It's my passion, especially during lockdown. I found that it's the best thing for my mental well-being. And maybe it's just something about turning 20. I realized that gardening was something I really, really enjoyed. It's an art form, not dissimilar to my face. I was like, well, this is perfect because I can transform my garden, even though it already looks stunning, into something phenomenal. Did I just say phenomenal, right? That's the first time I've ever done it in my life. No one's listening. No one's here. Rosie, I have been planning this for a little while because uh, I've been really excited and I wanted to do a garden transformation before and after in preparation for Rosie's 30th birthday. So join me, if you will. I'm really excited about this uh, because I like making anything look fantastic and I'm already a huge fan of Philips because we have the color changing bulbs in our living room, which I love. Rosie actually sets them to the mood that she's in so I know if she's angry or, you know, expecting her period. So first of all, I think it might be worth doing a bit of a before tour of the garden per se. I don't know what per se means and why people use it in a sentence. It seems like a waste of breath and a waste of words, but it does make you sound quite intelligent, doesn't it? Let the people that use the word caveat. I don't know how to use that in a sentence. So I'm gonna show you a tour of the caveat now and we'll go from there. First of all, we've got these beautiful roses. I mean, just look at them blooming in May. Stunning. I actually can't remember what these ones are called, but um, they are orange. So I think the Latin term is orange rose. If we move over to the fountain, it's always nice to have a little bit of ambient trickling, isn't it? As long as it doesn't make Rosie need the toilet, I love it. And then we've got what I like to call generic flower. Here is the cloud tree planter bed. That's what I call it. I have big, big plans for this in terms of lighting, which I will get onto later. You guys are going to think I'm really good at this, and I am. I am. In this planter bed, we have lupins. Some of my favorite. Uh, brilliant for any season. Just made that up. I actually think they only bloom in summer. Behind that, we've got some grasses or something because my mum was like, yeah, just put any old crap at the back. And I was like, brilliant. That sounds brilliant. Low maintenance. She was like, yeah. I was like, fantastic. Nothing like my marriage then. This is my herb planter. I painted it myself. In it, we have lemon balm. We have chive. We have other generic things that I'll never use like fennel. What is that? Is it a dessert? Is it a tunnel? I don't know what it is. So as you can see, the garden at the moment has no lighting whatsoever. One thing I will say, and I'm obsessed with this, I have a genuine obsession with hiding wires. I have been planning this garden makeover for a while, and I think I know exactly how I'm gonna conceal the wires. And if you're a loser like me, you're gonna get a big kick out of it because I know I am. Fingers crossed, it goes well. Okay, first things first, let's just talk about the products I have been sent and what I've got to work with here. I have been sent two of these outdoor pedestal lights. I'm sorry if I'm speaking fast, I'm really excited. Now these I love because they just, they add an element of what I like to call class to any garden. Don't you, don't you agree? Oh, my hair, <laughs> looking perfect. We also have four of these outdoor spotlights. Now these are called the Lily XLs. <laughs> this I am super excited about. This is the outdoor light strip five meter light. So this is so cool. You can bend this light at whatever angle you want. It's the bendiest thing since um, bend it like Beckham. No one's gonna get that reference because Rosie and I are in our 30s. <laughs> now all of these are connected with a Philips Hue bridge, which is kind of like the heart of your Hue system. You have the choice of 16 million colors. I can't even, that is such a big number. Rosie, how, how big is 16 million? Ah, uh, the galaxy. Okay, all we have to do is plug that into our router, set everything up with the Philips Hue app, and then you can control all of your lights from your phone. It's so customizable, you guys. You can even create ambiances called scenes, but I'm gonna get onto that later when hopefully my setup is complete and I can show you exactly what I mean. First things first, we all know that 
for proper, genuine and authentic garden installation, you have to be wearing the appropriate footwear. These are actually unicorn socks, Rosie, mm. with flame grilled Crocs. And I think that's actually, that's actually what they suggested to wear in Gardener's World. Those are nice, aren't they? Those are actually nice. I think so. Please do follow me to the garden, or dare I say, my personal oasis. I'll tell you the secrets of my garden, if you tell me yours. Also moving in slow though also really helps the process come along quite speedily. Why did you marry me? <laughs> Don't answer. Okay, so I'm gonna put the light strip on the inside of the planter bed, right? It's gonna look amazing. Um, it bends so you can bend it around literally anything. So come here. This worked an absolute treat. Right by my lovely lupin. Oh, nearly had my eye out. One of the many, many hazards of a garden. As you can see, I <laughs> as you can see, I put Ow! <laughs> Another garden hazard. As you can see, I've put a spotlight right by this palm and I've very cleverly concealed the wires. <laughs> I've also attached that to one of the pedestals. Excuse me, my God, rude. I've put one of the pedestals by Oscar's tree. Let me show you. It runs round here. Okay. Ow. Comes round here. Comes round here. Behind our, we call that the egg chair. It's not an egg. Behind the egg chair, right here. All I've got to do is set them up as a particular room on the app, and then it's good to go. So you've, what are you going to call this, back garden? No, I'm going to call it front garden. My apprentice. Ah, ah, who's a good baby? Ah, oh, ah, oh, so a good guy? I love it. I love it. Should we go and show them what we've done? Come on then, come this way. I think that's it. Yeah, that's what oh she God, said. I'm so excited to switch these on. I'm really into tech, so I love all this stuff. I have a wire splitter here, so I can attach two lights to one power socket. <gasps> Look what I've done. I have the cable running from there underneath. Oh yeah, here. look at this hiding. And, no, honestly, it gets better. It actually gets better. Look at this. Okay, right. so it goes all the way around it here. All the way, I dug a tiny little trench, so the actual wire is under there. See it there? <laughs> I can't even see it. All I have to do now is wait till it's dark, but it's a really long time away. Is that my juice? How did that even happen? She's eating an orange, everyone, and don't we all know about it? How's your fiber? How's your poo? I went this morning. Fantastic. Right, what came? Bikes. <laughs> I gotta go to the pharmacy. Rosie, they're not that. Oh, now those are sore, aren't they? Now they those are sore. Okay, so we're going to the pharmacy, pick up my medicine. You haven't got a bike, have you? It sucks to be you. She's got four legs, though, in fairness. She can go. Mate, so have you. <laughs> So this like is where we're keeping them. to be wild, all right? <laughs> there you now go. they are twins. They are twins. Oh, babe. Rose won't let me put ribbons on my bike. You're not putting ribbons on the bike. Why? <laughs> ribbons? Tell Why? them. Why? She didn't get the pedals on. Yeah. No matter how hard she tried. I had to get a man. I had all the right tools and I knew exactly how to do it. I just didn't have the physical strength. Sorry. <gasps> Sorry. The physical strength. Um, have I got orange strips in my teeth? This is how you die. Whoa. Here I am on my bike, feeling really confident. I'm gonna go back now because um, I've gone as far as my legs can take me. So, excuse me. It's fine, I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm really good at stuff. I'm really good at stuff. Not being pregnant, I'm really rubbish at that, but everything else I can do. I thought you were saying you were good at not being pregnant. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. I can't believe you just said that, I'm going. Right, why don't you tell them what you've made? A mess. It's Just kidding. Gluten free, dough free, low fog map. Yep. Um, banana bread. So, have you tried it yet? Ooh. No, why? I, I put a big hole in it and now I'm really embarrassed because it. What, really did, what did you put in the hole? <sighs> What's happened? What happened is you made banana bread and now this doesn't do up. I don't think it did up earlier, if I'm honest. I've just done the taste test. As you can see, I've had quite a wedge. Um, was it and good? I will, say, do you know what? I will say, Rosie, and I don't, I don't credit you much because honestly, you're not worth it. But I'm gonna have to give you a poor Hollywood handshake because that was the best banana bread. Hold on, I have ever had in my life. Literally, the nicest banana. Sorry, I've got an itch. The nicest banana bread. It was moist. It was, I don't know, like light. Go on, it explain was it. It was absolutely. Bobby, give me the poor Hollywood. Perfect. Congratulations. Ow. My ex really hand hurt. <laughs> Can I say something? Go Tell on. them what you told me just a moment ago. That my itchy bum hasn't subsided yet. No, that you said it was better than your mum. 
It was better than my mum. <gasps> I can't even tell you how good it looks. Have you not seen it yet? I haven't looked out, I haven't looked out the window. Okay, I have to show you. It's better than I, it's much, it, I look, I, I'm emotional. <laughs> Close your little eyes. Then I can't, then I'll That's okay, you'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Right, I'm gonna lead you to the door. I'm, when I say I'm lead, on. just follow my voice. Okay, you can open. Don't be scared, I'm fully clothed. Oh my God. This, oh, this, you see, this is actually called Pink Blossom, this scene, okay. right? Babe, it looks amazing. Does it look so, so good? No, it was really easy, like ridiculously easy. Yeah. Doesn't, it, saw it, like, doesn't it look great? It, off, it, looks great. it looks so good. I actually can't believe how good it looks. Can I bring the tea out here? We can yes, yes, okay, 100%. I'll get the tea. Okay, get the tea. He's returned from the wild to look at his kingdom. What do you think? Oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you got the blanket. Yeah, Nitty. Look, Rosie, I set up two rooms, front yeah. garden, back garden. Yeah. And we change the scene right. and the ambiance inside the app look. Right. So at the moment, this yeah. is spring blossom. But if I were to change it to Arctic Aura. Okay. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? And Ooh. how about Savannah Sunset, if you're feeling it? <gasps> I love it. <laughs> I love, but Spring Blossom my favourite. You want Spring Blossom, okay. Yeah, pink. Yeah. There you go. How do you feel about your transformed garden for your 30th? Is it pink enough? I feel like it's a palace. It is pink, but I will be requesting a birthday sash, but the <laughs> garden looks perfect. Sorry, I actually can't get over how good it looks. It looks amazing. I've set it to a routine, so it automatically comes on at sunset. So if I pick the pedestal, change the colour to make <gasps> green. Oh my God, yes. And now it's green. Oh my God. How cool is that? Let's do the light strip. Light strip. Let, what colour do you want to make it? Uh, blue. Okay, blue. <gasps> That's oh, sick. How good is that? That's so How sick. cool is that? <gasps> now let's make Wilma a different colour. <laughs> Guys, let me know if you enjoyed this vlog. I had so much fun making this she video. She really did. No, you don't even know. You have no idea. When I love something, I really go ham she and goes love ham. it hard. Um, so let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more home makeover style videos. It took a lot of work for the after because the lights were easy. The gardening, that took time. Before this vlog, I said to Rosie, I need the garden to look absolutely amazing she, before we even think about lighting it. She told me she was mowing the lawn for the before shot. So I was like, <laughs> okay, you, you do you. Do you know, one thing I didn't do was ball the tree because I couldn't reach and my back hurts. But um, she's upset that the tree doesn't have sufficient balls. Bye. Bye. <laughs>